Hi everyone. In this question here we're being asked to solve this equation. Okay, so the secant of theta plus 1.0415 is equal to zero. And we're given this in the domain here uh, from negative 360 to zero, not including either one of those. Now, it, it helps me to have a look at what this uh, domain is, is indicating here. And I'm going from zero degrees all the way through to negative 360, meaning I'm starting here and I'm going all the way around an, a full negative rotation. Okay, so this is the domain that I'm going to find my angles in here. Now, I'm going to start working with this problem here. Now, first of all, my first goal is going to be to isolate the trig function here. So I'm going to bring the 1.0415 over. So it's become negative 1.0415. Now, this is secant. I don't want to be working with secant. I'd rather work with something a little bit more familiar. So I'm going to reciprocate both sides. When I reciprocate the left-hand side, I will get cosine. When I reciprocate the right-hand side, I will get negative 1 over 1.0415. Okay? Now, uh, you could leave the negative in the denominator if you want. It doesn't really matter, but the whole thing is going to be negative, and that's, that's the issue. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to recognize, first of all, that the ratio here is negative. Now, cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at this angle right here and this angle right here. Now, I want to find my reference angle, and this will be the inverse cosine of positive 1 over 1.0415. Okay, now I'm going to bring my calculator up here. Now, First of all, I notice from my domain that I should be in degree mode. So I'm going to go over here and highlight degree. I'm going to quit. And then this is going to be second cosine 1 divided by 1.0415. I want to make sure that's all in parentheses behind that, that inverse cosine. Press enter. And I'm getting roughly 16. Now I know it says 16.2, blah, 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 blah. But typically with angles, we're going to round that to the nearest. We're going to round that to the nearest whole degree. Whoops, sorry, you can't see that. I'm going to round that to the nearest whole degree. Okay, good. Now, now I'm going to measure my angle, but I'm going to be measuring it along the negative rotation. So this is negative 180 degrees, and then I come backwards 16. Now, going this way is positive. So think of it like this. This is negative 180 plus 16. So negative 180 plus 16 gets me my first angle, or my, my third quadrant angle, is going to be negative 164 degrees. Okay, my second quadrant angle, think about how this works. I'm rotating this way, negative 180, and I'm going to continue rotating this way, 16 degrees. So it's going to be negative 180, okay, minus 16, because I'm, I'm again, I'm continuing to rotate uh, counter, sorry, clockwise, not counterclockwise, clockwise. That's going to be negative 196 degrees. So those are the, ooh, those are the two angles there that this particular question is asking us to find.